Hello, hello. Just a quick update. Iceland eruption is still going on, although it's getting a little less strong. We are today at 11 o'clock, uh, 27th of March. And uh, let me share my screen. This is the live view. And here it is. So I trust you can see that now. So the main vent is still operational and uh, the small vent here is still showing a little bit of a glow and it's degassing the small event here as well. This tiny one seems to have shut down and uh, the gas plume is less strong and the wind is bringing the gas out to the west, southwest. So it's going out onto the ocean. As you see, the camera is very zoomed in and that means that uh, the activity is not really widespread in order to see some action. This is why the camera is zooming in and the fire fountains are rather small. There's a lot of haze there, of course, but you can see the fire fountains are not really escaping the vent to uh, a high altitude. So uh, the activity is shutting down. The issue that uh, we are facing, however, is the lava barriers are starting to reach their limit. And uh, here the uh, map, let me bring you back from the Met Office. This is the map. It's uh, the lava barriers at the lower end of the lava field that are the problem. And it's this corner here. So we have a lot of lava that's flowing still towards it. And uh, this is where the lava level, the height of the lava has now reached the height of the barriers. And there is quite some activity to compensate for that. So I'm checking out the Morgenbladet, the morning newspaper, the Icelandic one. And here there is uh, activity. There's a digger here and it actually digs some material even from the ongoing lava flow and trying to heighten the barriers here. This is the very corner I've just shown on the map. And actually there is a projection view where we can see it even better. This is just the uh, photos from that uh, morning report, which is from this morning, seven o'clock. And uh, this must be pictures from yesterday, therefore. So here in the corner, they're trying to raise the level of the barriers by several meters. If my eyes landing is not failing me, it's about five meters they're hoping to raise in the corner and three to four meters away from the corner. So here you see this is the corner and uh, there it continues towards Brindavik and there is Torbjörn and this is the main corner. So there's some lavas inside, but mainly outside. The outside level is at the height of the barriers, therefore the barriers need to be raised. And this is what's going on right now. So the diggers are taking material, fresh lava material and piling it up in order to prevent the lava from spilling over. And here's a few more impressions. Again, this is this very corner I was pointing out. Here's the lobe that went down towards the sea, but never reached the sea, praise the Lord. And uh, here is the material taken from the lava inside, which is from the Svartzengi eruptions, but not from this particular one. And this is the lava now from the March eruption. And uh, hopefully the barriers when they have been raised will be a good protection against lava pressing against these barriers, preventing the lavas from spilling into the enclosure and ultimately into Grindavik. So here is again, we see the barriers, the earth, works and uh, the lava is being added to this and here you can see it's all broken up this is where material is taken from so here another view and uh, there we see a dark crown to the barrier this is uh, again fresh lava material being taken from there so and this brings us back to the very start so i uh, think that uh, the eruption is indeed slowing down the Barriers are being reinforced and uh, made taller. So hopefully the worst is over and the lavas will not spill into the barriers and Grindavik will not suffer uh, a lot more damage from lava inflow in this particular event. What that means in the long run, that's a different story. But I think hopefully this event is now coming to a close within the next few days. I would expect that the vent activity will start to slow down further and eventually shut down. And uh, unless there's some new major earthquake and replenishment from depth, this is what I think will happen. So hopefully this all goes by without further damage then. Thank you very much and all the very best.